Okay, so I'm gonna go out and say an unpopular opinion here. I am sick of seeing commentaries out of Go Anime commentators. Now, why did I bring that up? Because today we'll be commentating on a commentator known as the Package Reviewer, who did a commentary on someone known as Sandwich Addict, who commentated on a Michael the Go Anime guy's rant on Yo Gabba Gabba. So let's begin. Hello everyone, the Package Reviewer here, and for my second commentary, I will be commentating on Sandwich Addict's commentary on Michael the Go Animate Guy. Cause Michael the Go Animate Guy is totally irrelevant in 2017. He is such a dead topic to this point that there is literally nothing new you can say about him. Why should this matter? Even if Michael's a dead topic, you can still cover him, since you could always bring something new to the table. I hate Michael too, but at least I don't insult him 24-7. This statement comes off kinda weird to me, like, we don't know if Sin, which is going to insult him or not, so you really should save statements like that until the final thoughts. Anyways, on to the commentary. Okay, Sandwich, that intro is way too basic. At least put in some effort into it, like put in some pictures or sound effects or at least something, since this intro is so goddamn boring. Just some advice, use a real voice instead of text, otherwise it'll make you look lazy. I can't believe I have to keep saying this over and over again. Text, nor text-to-speech, should invalidate what Sandwich Addict has to say. What if he doesn't have a mic? What if he wants to keep his voice a secret? What if he doesn't have enough money to pay for a microphone? The way you present your points shouldn't matter. It should matter what the actual arguments you bring up are. Um, I think that type of logic can be applied for other animation programs such as Anime Studio and Flash. Oh my god. Both of these are pointless interjections. Like seriously, unless you have an actual debunking point or a joke, don't say anything at all. This is Michael the Goanime guy we're talking about. What else would you expect from a rant by him? That still doesn't change the fact that the X more like Y template is fucking retarded and does nothing to strengthen Michael's points. This show sucks. This show is about five toys and they like to go on failure adventures together. Muno acts like a baby all the time. Fufa needs to exercise more. Broby is a scardy cat, and I bet you're going to laugh at the next picture. Why? Because he's actually sad, don't scared in this picture! Oh, cry me a fucking river. I've heard ear rape worse than that. Okay, but that doesn't change the fact that the ear rape was fucking pointless. Also, don't use your own subjectivity to argue Sandwich Addict's own subjectivity. <laughs> To take right when she loses at a game. Plex is a dumb robot. In one episode, he got heaven by a snowball. Haha, -ha, he deserved it. And DJ Lance Rock doesn't know how to be a real DJ. The backgrounds are crap. The music is dumb. The songs are stupid. And the whole thing looks like a person that Sky used age would do in a basement. I used to like this show when I was Clarence's age. But after watching one of Brendan Bonnie's videos, I started hating it in July 2015. Thank God that show will not renew to a fifth season. Do you know who likes this show? The Teletubbies. They want to join the cast. Again, what else would you expect from a rant like this? You are aware that that point ignores the fact that Michael is making retarded points like this and is still a problem. This is a problem because it's both confusing and drags out his video for longer than necessary and does nothing to prove his arguments whatsoever. But they can't because they're from PBS Kids, not Nick Jr. They're lucky that their show is getting a reboot on Nick Jr. Do you know who hates this show? Brendan Bonney. He says that every Go Animate user has to hate this show and like grounded videos. I actually agree with you here, but you are being a dead horse here, so he won't listen to you guys no matter what you tell him. 
So what was the point of this interjection? You make two points here. Point number one, I agree. Don't ever cut in with just I agree and leave it at that, since your opinion won't debunk an opinion. And about Michael being a dead horse, dude, you're literally using this as a way to discredit his arguments, when it doesn't debunk his points. I'm stopping it here. Final thoughts? So Package, while well, I've seen your third commentary, and I will admit it's a step above this video, you still have a long ways to go, my friend. For starters, opinions do not debunk opinions, and you should also get more avatar pictures, as just a few gets very boring to look at. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a good day.